I have a very wide variety of students with a lot of different things that they're coming to school with. And all of my students have an understanding of what science we're learning about. Whether they're able to produce a large piece of writing about it or tell me a little bit about it or show me something, it's nice that it's so accessible. How is this helping seeds move around a habitat? We need students to have that access to science so that, again, doors aren't closed on them as they progress through school, that someone has had some exposure by the time they get to high school. It's on their radar. I feel like it's our job starting at the elementary level to begin to help you know lift students up so that they see that as a real possibility for their future. So we're talking about what an engineer is, what a scientist is, and they're like oh I'm those things and they just get excited. They feel much more confident and that kind of trickles into then other subject areas, other interactions with their peers. Well, I had one student who joined like partway through a unit who is an emergent bilingual. The ease at which he was able to like jump into what we were doing because we were doing so many hands-on things. There's so many like great photographs of what we're reading about and so many different tools to get involved. It was like such a seamless transition. I think the consistency is huge. Kids are hearing the same terms, having those common experiences. If that's not there, then it's difficult. You've got some students who have that background knowledge and some students who don't. And when we're really looking at equity, I feel so strongly about that common experience. Like we want all students to have that equal access. What's been great is to have the kids raise their hand and say, oh, we know, we've been engineers this year. And hearing them use those terms about the work that they've done and then me being able to build on that has been so great. 